नहो तस् भगवतो अरे हाथो संहा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरे हाथो संहा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरे हाथो Good evening, everyone. So, today with the Chetasikas, we have to continue with the um, Sobana, the beautiful Chetasikas. And up to now, we have gone over the universal dhammas, the universal dhammas, the dhammas that arise occasionally. Then we've gone through the dhammas which are unwholesome in nature, divided into the universal unwholesome. Let me share my screen to help you. The universal unwholesome. The Pasavedana, Sanya, Chetana, Ekagata, Mansikara, Bin Chetasika Dhammas, which are universal, meaning that they arise in all Chittas. The occasionals, meaning they arise in most Chittas, but in circum circumstances as where the jhana goes, they don't arise in certain circumstances. Then we have all of those categories of chaitasikas which perform the function of support in the chittas that are connected to the unwholesome, the akusala dhammas, right? Which are subdivided as the moha chatukha, the loba trika, the dosa chatukha, and the tinamidda vichikicha. And the thin in the which kitchen. Um, are you all hearing me without any lag? Is the sound seamless? Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Yes, Bhante. Thank you. Now we have to go on to the beautiful mental factors today. Now I want to bring your attention. As we move on and as we are moving towards a goal of self-actualization, right, Nibbana, I want to just read this passage from Lady Syado Swami Mahanse's treatise or Kammatha Nibbana Gamni Padipada. No, Ayangi Kai no Manko. Sorry, ayang eka ayno mangko. Nibbhana gamni patipaga is paok se aru sa in hasas kamatana. Eka ayno ayam mangko. Right? And it reads like this under insight. In order to develop true insight knowledge, starting with knowledge that discerns body and mind, one should observe ultimate mental and physical phenomena and not conceptual objects. In addition, among ultimate mental and physical phenomena, only those, only those that are mundane should be taken as objects of insight meditation and not that are Supramandane can ne Lokotra Chitika Yogi Aramunukran Nehe Aramunukran ne 
මේ සෝරි ලෝකෝත්තර චිත්තයන් ටික අරමුණු කරන්නේ නැහැ අරමුණු කරන්නේ ලෝකීය ධර්ම ටික විතරයි කියන එක. හා අර පරමාර්ථ ධර්මයන්ගේ ලෝකීය පරමාර්ථ ධර්මයන් ටික විතරයි කියන එක. හරි. The reason for this as a Vishuddha Magga says ordinary people cannot observe supramundane phenomena that they have not yet realized. However, even if one has realized them, observing supramundane phenomena does not serve the purpose, serve the purpose of insight meditation. Because the illusions of permanent satisfaction and personality, anicca dukkanatta, nicca sukatma, are only connected with mundane phenomena. Are only connected with mundane phenomena and not the supramundane ones. These illusions can only be eradicated by observing mundane phenomena and not by observing supramundane. For example, if a person wants to level the ground, they must remove places that are too high and fill in the places that are too low. Doing so serves the purpose of leveling the ground. But if the ground was already level, doing so would serve no purpose. Among mundane phenomena, beginners cannot meditate on the highest jhana. It is extremely subtle that even Venerable Sariputta was unable to observe it directly. So although there are mundane, sublime types of consciousness experienced with the attainment of jhana, cannot be observed if one has not attained them. Thus, the sub-commentary says that the sublime types of consciousness, Mahagata Chittani, can be observed or experienced only by those who have achieved jhana. Now, this is a very important bit. First of all, it in the initial part, when it says that you do not observe the supramundane and only observe the mundane, O king, at the time of dharma, api vidarshana patting, it goes, it is a statement that is very much relevant to Mahayana Dhamma. Because in the Mahayana Dhamma, they reflect on enlightenment. On in enlightenment. The other part is, the Paramatta Dhammas that are to be observed is only that of the mundane Bhumi. And that is currently what we are studying. The Dhammas pertaining to each and every moment right now. The Dhammas that arise moment to moment in our daily pace of life. If you are to take one singular emotion and look within it, you will be able to split that emotion apart and start experiencing that this emotion was not one singular entity bound to self, but truly non-self. Why? Because they are the component factor of so many chitta and chaita sikadamas. Thus accomplishing the task rendered through the Dhamma in the practice of the Dhamma, realizing a state of non-self. Deep experiential, palpable, non-self. And that is what we are endeavoring upon. So today we start upon Shaddha, Sati, Hiri, Otappa, and so on. All of these Dhammas arise associating the, what are the Chittas associated with these Dhammas, everyone? Sobana. The Sobana Chittas. The Sobana Chittas and also the Lokotra Chittas because they are also considered Sobana, isn't it? Right? So also the Lokotra Chittas. Now, let us come to our book. 
Now, I will not waste our time reading this part as we will go through them, right? But the universal beautiful factors, let me make a very karana, neither. The universal beautiful factors. Now, these chaita seekers arise with each and every beautiful chitta. The beautiful mental factors are subdivided into four groups. First come the universal beautiful factors, 19 chetasikas that are invariably present in all beautiful consciousness. Following this come three groups of beautiful chetasikas which are variable adjuncts not necessarily contained in the beautiful consciousness, right? Which are referring to the virati, the um, um, illimitables, and the prajna indriya. Faith. The first of the beautiful chaita seekers is faith, which has a characteristic of placing faith or of trusting. Its function is to clarify as a water clearing gem causes muddy water to become clear. To become clear. Or its function is to set forth. When, when we take Shraddha, we have we have to do everything possible to not take it in a linear way because we have a sense of attraction to this word Shraddha, isn't it? This Shraddha is a Chaita Sikha that arises with each and every Chitta, huh? which are pertaining to the beautiful realm. Within these beautiful Chittas, Shraddha arising. What do you think about that? Because the beautiful chittas, the way that they operate is experientially different to the way, the manner, the nature of a consciousness that is unwholesome in nature or a consciousness such as Ahetuka, which is very weak. It does one support, it does a supporting function, a supporting role. The beautiful Chetasikas, and out of them, the first being Shraddha, speaks on a way that the mind, moment to moment, with everything that we hear, smell, taste, feel, touch, and also the mental data that we have, whatever that comes into the present, what happens? There's a sense of Faith, if a decision is made, if a sound is trusted, if a taste is agreed, if a smell is comfortable, there is a sense of what? There's a sense of commitment to the object. That Shraddha speaks of that commitment there, that trust in the object that has aroused in the mind at that moment. Aroused in the mind at that moment. Does that make sense, everyone? Yes, of course. We have, these are not terms that are in any way new to us. But I think the part that is somewhat new is the way that we see these Dhammas existing within scenarios that we once didn't think of, isn't it? We, are, we now see Shraddha in every good act that we do whether it is concerning the Buddha directly or the Dhamma directly, whether it is concerning our Buddhist lives or not, there is regardless. There is Shraddha there. A sense of trust that is put into the object. Right? A sense of trust that is put into the object. Eka understand it as a as a remnant, as a as a as a breeze. 
as a as a he to pala affecting the others as well in that process right when we take vitakka vitakka and births to the object right whether it is a hard wall or a soft wall or a or a crumbling wall or a solid wall or an intimidating wall or a poor wall vitakka would just go and knock on it having no sense of dignity or respect for it it just that's not it, its task its task is to simply go and advert the consciousness upon the object vitakka isn't it but shabda is what trust is not given to every object but an object that is comforting an object that is in a manner whether challenging or difficult an object that is trusted upon that is welcome in a manner does that make sense everyone right so it should not be taken as another name for vitakka no no trust right trust it is it is as if for example when a monk says something right of a piece of dhamma with a pali and you know beautifully explained automatically the chittas that arise processing this data is with a sense of welcome isn't it when it is beautifully put together and all of that but then when you listen to let us say um another and something else um i don't want to say but an easy an example would be let us say the election uh, discussions maybe right the election discussions not every word is taken in good faith or with faith not good faith with faith isn't it it's questioned it's it's effect upon us is not stable and subtle and smooth flowing it is questioned there are ripples on it isn't it everyone there are ripples on it it's not smooth flowing like listening to a wonderful senior um monk no it has ripples on that thoughts now see are shraddha the comfort the shraddha brings or that sort of beautiful chit and chetasika brings and how that akusala that is arising right the dittigata sampayuttas and the vipayuttas arising prompted unprompted arising or taking objects processing that chakku vinyana sota vinyana all of that processing all of that within the javanas within the javanas are the chakku vinyana from the chakku vinyana it comes chakku vinyana sampatichana santirna right vottapana and then the javana process starts the javana chakku vinyana munwa ava javane thamai action ekak wenne where the reaction to that object is going to happen right that is where the karmas are developed so these kusalas or akusalas so you see that gap that ripple ara chanchala bhave etena wedi why it's not one smooth flowing series a lot of ripples in them ඒක පාරම හොඳ ෆේත් එකක් දුවනවා ඊට පස්සේ අකුසලයක් දුවනවා ඊට චක්කු විඥාන සෝත විඥාන all of that patige lobe drushti all of the ripples those ripples we feel chittanu pasanam kannota oy ripples hondata danenawa like a rocky road you see these ripples going when you advert to the mind and observe but understanding those ripples to break them apart right understand shraddha in that sort of essence not through vitakka side vitarkita gava ganne pa shraddha its function is to set forth right its function is to set forth just like for example if the let us say the father or the mother of the family is to get down from the car everyone else will get out of the car isn't it the children in the back and everyone but then if 
the father or the person driving or the person who is responsible there is not getting out of the car, no one will get out of the car. There will be suspicion. Right? Does that make sense with the object? Shraddhava tena tena, shraddhava nati tena. Shraddhava buduhamduro ewa kerihi neme. To any object that is agreeable in that moment. Is that clear, everyone? When we are doing our vipassana, when we are doing our practice and all of that, what happens is that light of that Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha element flows through to work in the way that our Yonisu Manasikhara is. Hari, that our Yonisu Manasikhara is, yes. Bhante, it's an okay, I need beautiful chair to sikat in ekada. With the with the shadda with the yes, any beautiful chaita seekers in a cup, it in a shadha. Uh, yes, are a shadha follow from our bayat netu are a chai seeker dharma to get in a right shadha. It mitna mitna are then vitarke duma mitring malkanti me petting hana plung a hana owner. Enang utuh tu deng, bithakki yamuna marmuna kete, utuh tu bithakki tek katarmu tek ena tek ena mana eda kie nega. Right, bithakki tek katarmu ne ena mana? Hari, arumu ne me, ani cai sike darumu tika. Cai sike. Darumu tika tiada nama arumu ne kerehi. Hari, so then what is the difference? E yedina Vidya thi ena mani? Yedena vidya. Ekhi anne vitharke yedune vitharke. Shraddha ve yedene shraddha ve. Odukota, that quality, e quality ekama thamai bhaavana ve ma pyaallan. Odukota, shraddha ve essence ka shraddha ve denga api Saka chakra ne shadha is separate and different from vithar ke ke la. Uttara shadha wa hetu palayak vashem ma anit dharmyan te influence kanwa shadha wa meka armuna teke yedin. Vithar ke influence kanwa vithar ke dhekke de e armuna ke nahi yedin. E siyal ma yedin te ne chitte gatte monovad chitte gatte aramuna. Uttara chitta dharme gant who agrane karapu advert karapu e dharma yama thama yara chaita sika dharma tika dhenga okkoma e armunata yumu enna hadhan othu kuta mona vidhiyeng hari shraddha vengu na sati yengu na hiri yengu na othap alob adhos e mona chaita sika dharma yengu na e hama chaita sika dharma yama ए चाय से के धर्मे तीन ए गति एंग इन्फ्लुएंस करना आर्मोन के लिए ही ये मोमेंट है, राइट? सो व्हाइल्स देयर इस अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द चित्ता, द सबटास्क्स बिटवीन द इन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द चित्ता रिमेंस टू बी इट्स ऑपरेशन ऑफ द हेतु पाला रिलेशनशिप इट हैज विथ the chaita sikhas and the chaita sikhas between themselves. Chaita sikha chaita sikha ud bandila thin he tu pale ud. In o kata oya kota samal khan tiya pita khoteng ingan ganda bhe. Then chaita sikha yangi he tu pale balanda venni utu kota pita aranganna pulwam usasma dharma itha me pathane. Hari. It pathane ingunat e atta बावना में ज्ञान एम में तमाय इतना ये विदर्शना और पश्चिम इतना हटा गाने ये गैम्बुरे टा यान न तमाय मै मट्ट में गाना सामने आवा खालन न आप ही हो रहे हैं हम्म थैंक यू हाँ कमिंग बैक टू अंते कैन आई काइंडली आस्क समथिंग प्लीज ओ हिरांते क्या ना व्हाई यू आर कंपेयरिंग इट टू विताक Wrong with that, you know? It can be a lot of different things. No. It's an ethical variable. But Saddha is always Buddha Dhamma Sangha. It's always Saddha. 
නෑ 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 බුද්ධ ධම්ම සංග කෙරෙහි තියෙන ශ්‍රද්ධාවයි ඒ ශ්‍රද්ධාව සම්මුතියක් ඒක රයිට් මේක මේ කතා කරන්නේ අල්ටිමට් රියලිටි එකක් ගැන හරි මෙතන කතා කරන්නේ පරමාර්ථ ශ්‍රද්ධාව ඒ කියන්නේ යම් කිසි දැන් හිරන්ති තමන්ගේ ජීවිතේ තමන් විශ්වාස කරන දෙයක් තියෙනවනේ හරි දැන් කීමු යු ට්‍රස්ට් දැට් ද ඩෝ ඉස් ලොක්ඩ් යෝ හවුස් ඩෝ ඉස් ලොක්ඩ් ද ෆ්‍රන්ට් ඩෝ ඉස් ලොක්ඩ් යු ට්‍රස්ට් දැට් රයිට් I'm sorry if you're thinking about it right now. <laughs> I guess I got in so I know I locked it. <laughs> right? Now you trust that. Othana shabdhavat tina. Munuwa kherid towards the object that the mental object of you knowing that you lock the door. That the door is locked. Shabdha towards the view that the door is locked. Oh, I see. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So now, you are looking at me on the screen and everyone else, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, then, when your, when your faculties might not be so, let us say, the eyes are not properly seen, right? But let us say you're observing the screen and then... you trust everything that is going on you believe that i'm smiling you believe that i'm talking takuvinyan and you have when you believe it that is there is a sense of shraddha there evunata then chakuvinyane chakuvinyane ahetuke akne etna shraddhavak nahe evunata hiranti e chakuvinyane ganna aramuna chakuvinyane සම්පටිච්චන සන්තීරණ වොත්තපන ජවන හතක් දුවනවා ඔතකොට මේ ජවන තුල ඇති වෙන හොඳ චිත්ත ධර්මයන්ත එක්ක යෙදෙන ශ්‍රද්ධාවක් තමයි මේ ඔව් ඇයි සී තෙන්නත් හරි ඒක යන චක්කු විඥාන කතාව ගෙන ආවේ මොකද චක්කු විඥානින් සෝත විඥානින් ගහන විඥානින් ජිව්හා විඥානින් කාය විඥානින් ඒ කියන්නේ අපේ පංචද්වාරෙන් ඇති වන පංචද්වාරේ විතරක් නෙමෙයි පංචද්වාරේ විතරයි ගත්තේ මනෝද්වාරේ සලායතන ද්වාරයන් වල ඇති වන සියලු අර ආග්‍රහණය කරන අරමුණු හොඳ පහසු සුහදයි එවැනි අරමුණු හොඳ අරමුණු නම් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි ආග්‍රහණය කරන්නේ මේ යෝනිස් මානසිකාරින් ගන්නේ බියුටිෆුල් කොන්ෂියස්නස් එකකින් ගන්නේ ඒ වෙලාවේ ශ්‍රද්ධාව හටගන්න ඒ ශ්‍රද්ධාව නැති තැන විශ්වාසයේ කියන දේ ක්වෙස්චනබල් විශ්වාසයේ නැහැ කියන එක නෙමෙයි විශ්වාසයේ ක්වෙස්චන් එකක් නැහැ ඩු යු ගෙට් වොට ඇ මීන් ලයික් යු යු ගෝ බෞට් විත් තින්ග්ස් ඇන් යු ඇන් ලෙට් අස් සේ සම්වන් පොප්ස් අවුට් ඇට් යු ඇන් ආස් ඩු යු ට්‍රස්ට් දිස් and you're bewildered in a, be- a way because you never it, it didn't even appear to you because that was not a atimahanta ramana object for you to consider that trust mm. to have that faith right but on a chakuvinyana level yes that trust arose because the me chakuvinyana me that ka rupe viswasa karanne pe ලස්සන රූපය දැක්කා නම් දැන් රුවන් වැලි සෑය ගාවට ගිහිල්ලා අපි සතුටු වෙනවා. ඔතකොට මේ රූපේ රුවන් වැලි සෑය ඉස්සරහා ඉන්න භාවයේ විශ්වාස කරන්න පැයි ඇත්ත ඉස්සරහම අරමුණ අපි පරමාර්ථ ලෙවල් එකකින් if we approach it. මේක පස්සේ අර ජවන සීරීස් දුවලා 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 ගිහිල්ලනේ අපි දැන් රුවන් වැලි සෑය අපි ඒ ඉමර්සිව් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එකේ අපි ඔතකොට ඉන්නේ. that is when we are immersed in the environment of the run by say no otu kota e mullu spectrum spectrum ekema piligattu yam kisi vidhikata piliganna swabhaven gatta nang ekene sobana chitta dharmyan yam kisi arbuna kaagrane karana enne etena shraddhawa athi wenawa arbunu kerihi e compilation eke ara dharmyan beda karana 
mokada what we are what we are talking about hiranti is not one isolated thing we are talking about a person's entire samsaric journey mm-hmm. isn't it we are talking about panchaskanda me panchaskande thula sobana dharmayak arumunu karama shraddhava hata ganna e kiyanne api mulu maha jeevithema wenas karanna puluwa component ekak ne me shraddhava adu unama shraddhava adu unama restlessness wedi wenawa sorry shraddhava shraddhava kiyana na shraddhava buddha dhamma sangha shraddhava gena vitarak nemi mam me katha karanne oh yes right yeah shraddhava adu unama ശ്രദ്ധാവി <laughs> 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 ശ്രദ്ധാവ yeah i i was thinking that's the ex- yeah, you know different way i thought that's the exact thing my right. understanding etena etena me arumuna kerihi shraddhavak nae kiyanne arumuna ka sabaha piti mak nae kiyane ya wena deyak neme ham wilema gashtaneyak wena deyak hari otokota dan me shraddhava jeevithe thula wedi kiyala kiyanne ha api me hari bauddha you know e patten apita balanna puluwan අපිට ඊටත් වඩා ධර්ම ධර්මයේත් එක ජීවත් වෙන ජීවත්යල් දියා බලන්නත් පුළුවන් අපිට අන් ආග අද people of other faiths and religions who are do, who have a sense of faith in their life who have a sense of you know such 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 beauty in their lives mm-hmm. and the way that their minds work right ඔතකොට මේ අර ලස්සන දේවල් ඇති වෙන තැන් වල මේ there is a sense of shraddha is ඒ ශ්‍රද්ධාව තමයි අපි බුදු පියාන් වහන්සේ කෙරෙහි ඒ යොමු වෙන ඒ ගතිය ඒ එනර්ජි එක මුළු චිත්ත චෛතසිකයේ මුළු ජීවිතයේම මේක බලපානවා මුළු ජීවිතේට මොකද පරමාර්ථ ලෙවල් එක කින් අපි කතා කරනකොට හැම මොමන්ට නෝ දැන් හිරන්ති දැන් කියමු හිරන්ති නැත්නම් anyone else දැන් කියමු මම මේ කියන එක දෙයක්වත් ඕගොල්ලෝ විශ්වාස කරන්නේ නැහැ හරි අපි කියමු ශ්‍රද්ධාව තව වැඩි වෙලා සාන් එක සාන් මහන්සි කියන දෙයක්වත් විශ්වාස කරන්නේ නැහැ රයිට් ඕකේ යෙස් 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 ඒ දැන් ඕකේ උඩපල්ල ඕක පරමාර්ථ ලෙවල් එකට ට්‍රැක් කරාම මෙන්න මේකයි තියෙන්නේ විශ්වාසය නැහැ ඒ කියන්නේ අරමුණ විශ්වාසයෙන් ගන්න ඒ අරමුණ කෙරෙහි විශ්වාසය මේක මේ එක ඓසලේටඩ් ඉන්සිඩන්ට් එකකට විතරක් දාන්න බෑ this is a multi dimensional process the non linear non linear process we have that shraddha towards any object ඔතකොට mental health පැත්තෙන් වුණත් මේක අරමුණ කෙර අරමුණ කෙරෙහි ශ්‍රද්ධාවක් නැති කොට ඔතකොට ලස්සන සිතුවිල්ලක් වෙන්න බෑ ගන <laughs> කොඩි වුණත් ඇඟ හිතනවා මොකටයි කියලා. ඔතකොට දැන් අර චක්කු විඥානේ අර සංඥාවෙන් ඇති වුණ ඒ චක්කු විඥානේ එකයි නේ ඊවන් ඉෆ් වී ගෝයින් ස්ටෑන්ඩ් දැ. ඒ වුණාට ඒ චක්කු විඥානේ ගත්තේ 
හොඳ චිත්තයකින් නෙමෙයි ශ්‍රද්ධාව නැහැ අරමුණ කෙරෙහි ඔතුගුණ ටේක් නෝ ට්‍රස්ට් ටුවර්ඩ්ස් දට් ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් දට් ඉස් බන්ත Yes. Sorry, Bhante. Yes. Uh, uh, this uh, Shraddha always arises with Prakya Nidhi, Bhante. It means Prakya Nidhi, Api Balan, Kinnik Nidhi, which means Avashuna Nidhi. Of course. Of course. It means Api Prakya Nidhi, Api Ekad Balamu. Right? It means Shraddha. Right? It means Shraddha. Right? It means Shraddha. श्रद्धा <laughs> මේ හැම පාසු දායක කර පොසිටිව් නේචර්ඩ් එනර්ජිස් දෙක එතන ශ්‍රද්ධාව යෙදෙනවා එතන ඉස් දැට් ලියර් එවරිවන් රයිට් දැට් ඉස් ශ්‍රද්ධා රයිට් කැන් ඇස් ස්පීක් බන්ති ප්ලීස් යස් සුජාතා බන්ති නව් ද වර්ඩ් ශ්‍රද්ධා හැස් අ ලොට් ඔෆ් වේට් ඇන්ඩ් මීනිං ඉන් ඉට් විච් සවුන්ඩ් සෝ නයිස් බට් ද වර්ඩ් ෆේත් ඇයි ෆීල් ඉස් නොට් කන්ඩියුසිව් ටු දැට් ट्रस्ट well you can't say it's ultimate faith that's a thing right me 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 this this shabda here is only pertaining to the sense of trust that is put to the object here the characteristic of placing faith or trusting yeah right onto the object its function is to clarify its clarify. function is to clarify right clarify kiyanne then yeah. clarify is to more secure with the object when there is a sense of trust put into something with it there is a sense of decision that is made mm. right but not as a decision but it stables on it trust where trust is laid trust is laid right where trust is laid there is a sense of oneness with that place yes sir. that sense of clarify now shraddha is not only buddha dhamma and sangha you said which shraddha is, which is not me my me vachane teka hire wenna pa me shraddha chaita sike chaita sike ek is english vachane mokadda hambunne api faith trust there's a words of that sort would be used are there any other words that anyone else would know other than faith and trust and the excess conviction confidence sorry confidence confidence ki ena vachane paach karna so jata what did uh... sorry conviction ah conviction conviction confidence yes all of those are words that are used right but don't get it confused with 
Shraddha towards the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. No, yes. it is talking about that Paramatta sense of trust that comes to the object. Right? Yes. It's a, on the ultimate sense of how Shraddha arises with each and every beautiful object. Hare. Now we go into. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, Sujata. And Sujata, thank you for the book. It is out of the book that you sent to me that I read out. <laughs> it's really, out. Bhante. I'm thank happy you about so that. Much, Sujata. <laughs> so happy. Mindfulness. About Mindfulness. Sati. The word sati derives from a root meaning to remember. But as a mental factor, it signifies presence of mind. Attentiveness to the present rather than the faculty of memory regarding the past. It has the characteristic of not wobbling, not floating away from the object. Its function is the absence of confusion or non-forgetfulness. It is manifested as guardianship or as a state of confronting an objective field. Its proximate cause, its strong perception, or pirasanya, or the four foundations of mindfulness, right? Tirasanya, or the four foundations of mindfulness. Tirasanya, what is tirasanya? The word sati derives from the root meaning. To remember. But as a mental factor, it signifies presence of mind, attentiveness to the present, rather than the faculty of memory. Right? Rather than the faculty of memory. I think we can also sort of see that in a when perception, when there's a strong perception made towards an object, tirasanya. That becomes the proximate cause for sati. Right? For sati. So, tirasanya would mean, api, the making young. Uh, what is the screen of your scene with the book, of course? Right? Then, me balan me sati koi the tini kela. Then, me sati be me da name ma. All of these 19 that we are going through come, is attached to. Each and every beautiful consciousness again. Sati. Hare. That me kusal aramunak. Me si allam kusal ne. Me kusal aramunak. Gan hata gan chitta chaisika dharmaya. Otukata. Whatever object that there is. All of these dhammas facilitate a taking or a stabilizing upon an object. We could also in that manner understand these are also sankharas, these two create sankharas, these two lead to rebirth. Just because they are positive in nature, one must not forget that these are also dhammas that we want at one, one day through the vipassana, within this moment, come to also get rid of or viraga. Right? So, coming back to the book, its function is, sorry, attentiveness to the object rather than the faculty of memory. Now, memory is a very complex process. And it is more connected to which Chaita Sikha do you remember? Which one? Memory is connected to which Chaita Sikha? Sanya. 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 Right? Sanya. Memory is a, as a Chaita Sikha, the closest Chaita Sikha to the 
function of memory is sanya because remember sanya makes a sign takes the nimitta recollects according to that sign right the characteristic of not wobbling and its function is the absence of confusion everyone these are very important parts even to our own practice in the anapana sati dhatu manasikara dvatin sabhavana whatever samatha vipassana it is the function its function is the absence of confusion when that when it makes such a remark what it also means is the absence of that nature where it ripples 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 tien tien when there is too much of a chanchala bhava it keeps us with, within a place of confusion what is the chanchala bhava the chanchala bhava is the akusala side right even within the kusala the seamless nature of that kusala or seamless nature of being with one series brings about a lack of ripples or its function is absence of confusion confusion occurs then paramartha washing hitanna confusion can occur confusion the closest word is restlessness and moha confusion right restlessness restlessness occurs where akusala bhumi right those ripples are not ripples that are supportive those ripples arise processing mental data otukota ayon sumaskara yon sumaskara apita denenne hittennewat ne api balana ka yon sumaskara kiyagena yanama e thara ripples thiyenawa thama ripples thiyenawa ewu tika pirisu krupthane ara satiya comes in purifying cleansing what was the word um cleansing into a state of not wobbling free from confusion or forgetfulness satya pitalam mm. it's it is manifested as guardianship how meek komada right what is that what do you think that is othaname othaname vachane paachikalla thiyenne exactly as you see it i mean me when you see the paramatta sati exactly how you see it they have used that word it is manifested as guardianship when now think about an object and sati over that object like a flashlight upon that object that object thira samya like a beam of light flashing upon the object in that same manner sati that guardianship means that boundary between everything that you are not aware of ekena you know, satiya no p2 tana satiya p2 la thi neka tana kata ni that is guarding the mind against unwholesome thoughts no no no, no. me the guardianship the way i'm talking about the manifestation what you're saying is correct okay. guardianship of the mind they are it lights up just that object that itself is a guardianship so that object seems like light and the others are dark all around the dark all around are the states that don't agree with this path which are all the rest of the states that are not connected to this one dhamma kiya bante ekarami gochara bhumi kiya lenawani sutra pitake 
गोचर भूमि एलियट आवाहमेला फ्लैशिंग अपॉन a certain area not upon the rest yes yeah. that object within that certain area is within that guardianship of the sati e sati ing eka aloka mat karala eka ek it has hoisted it into a more prestigious a more important a more protected e satiyata then me baada kena e baada they can't get through sati so when we are observing and when we are in deep concentration nothing within that plane is get going to come through neither sab the doesn't disturb you mm. right it doesn't disturb you the body live aches and pains that you thought you had they all disappear right but mena meka paramartha vashe manifest wenne ara attarama शिरोम की मलखा की मुखद विषय पाउ भावना मार्गे वगैरह निमित्त खर ए निमित्त मैनिफेस्ट में right so and it makes sense when it also says manifested as guardianship mokada e satiya thiyena thana hundata rakila thiyenne etana rakila kiyanne it's like a force field of sorts rakila thiyenne etana protectana bandhe me alkanti kiwa wage ara rakila thiyenne akusara yeah it's an absolute truth ne dakinne satiye inna kota present moment ke you see the reality unfolding yeah satyeng at to eliyata giya hatiya yo in the unreal akusaleyata wetena thiyena ekene oh satyena so as api dakino ase api me chart eke padiliwa ara sobana patten hosan patten gannati thana etena thiyenne kelima wetenne ara apaw ekene wetenna thanak nae othokota manasa apaw yanna thiyenne mena me tikata the ahet <laughs> विचिचा चित्त मुगद विचिकिचाहिता we start doubting senselessly deluded by our views we start doubting our whole life and life's networks comes crashing down at tak the truth goes so far away that the buddha says this vichikicha chitta ultimately leads to niyata mithya drushti उदिकिचा उदिता 
ඔය චිත්තේ නැත්නම් වෙන චිත්තයක් තියෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ හේතු ඵලනේ it bounces off one another අකුසල් ටික හටගන්න නැත්නම් හටගන්න ඕන කුසල් ටික අකුසල් හේතු ටික ඇතුලට දාන්න නැත්නම් ඔතුකොට වැටෙන්නේ කුසල් ටික හේතු ඵලනේ එතන අකුසල් හේතු ටිකක් නැත්නම් කුසල් හේතු පැත්තට යන්නේ manasi a mundane person's mind is not suited for upekha it upeksha wa kawat koi to the batinne now i understand where the question mark on your faces are coming from <laughs> but think about it when there are no akusala javana running the mind must run from something you no know? Now we have the map in front of us. Look at this. The mind must run from something. Right? Why? Because if you're not sleeping, you're going to be taking objects all the time. Otho gota akusal valin me chakus ota gana jifa khaya eti ka akusal valin piren nettang hetu phalo uda piren no ona kusale. රහතන් වහන්සේලට අකුසල් හේතු ඵලය හේතුව නැති හින්ද කුසලේ විතරයි හටගන්නේ. හරිනේ. රහතන් වහන්සේලට අකුසලයක් හටගන්න හේතුවක් නැති හින්ද කුසල් හටගන්නේ. ඔතකොට අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම අකුසල් හටගන්න නැත්නම් කුසල් හටගන්න ඕන. වන්ති ඉතකොට අර අව්‍යාකතා ධම්මා කියන එක. ඉතින් අව්‍යාකතා අව්‍යාකතා ධම්මා ටික වැටෙන්නේ කොයිටද? අව්‍යාකතා ධම්මා ටික වැටෙන්නේ මේ මේ ගොඩට. විකාර. ඔතකොට මෙතන මේ ගොඩේ සම්පරිචන සන්තින්න ඔතකොට very weak forms of mind. Very weak. රයිට් එතන මේ ජවන හියුමන් කනෙක්ට් එක වල දුවන්න බෑ. ඔතකොට හේතු පළ උඩ අකුසලී කවදාව සම්පූර්ණ නැති වෙන්නෙත් නැහැ. පන්ති ලෙවලාට මෝහය එන්න පුළුවන් නේ. මෝහයෙන් ඉන්න පුළුවන්. කරෙක්ට් අකුසලී ඔතකොටර් if you had something about if you had something going on if you didn't like the person that same phala wouldn't have unfolded otukota akusare kusare mewwa me therapena me dharma hetu phala uda therapy 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 athi wenna pavithenna nathi wenna dharma tikak ekai etana kiyanne eth hetu phala uda kavadawa rahak wenna kal me akusale nathi wenne naha eth අපි සතියෙන් ජීවත් වුණාම අර අකුසලේ තියෙන බන්ධනේ බලන්න මෙන්න මෙතනින්ම පේනවා ඒක මේ අකුසලේ මේ ගොඩේ අපි මෙතන අපි මෙතන අපි ගාවට එන්න එපා ඔය ඔයගොල්ලෝ ඇත්තින් ඉන්න පන්තේ චාට් එක පොඩි වැඩි පොඩ්ඩක් බලමු ඔව් ඒක ඒක මේ විස්තර වෙන්න නැහැ පාට විතරක් බලන්න මේ කොළ පාට ටික තමයි අපි ඉන්න තැන අර ගොල්ලෝ ඉන්නේ අර පැත්තේ අපි ඒ ගොල්ලොට එකතු වෙන්නේ නැහැ තේරුණාද ඉතින් දැන් බලන්න උතුර සතිය වඩනවා කියලා කියන්නේ අර අකුසල් උතුර බුදුහාමුදුරු කීපු කතාවම අකුසල් වලින් ඈත් වෙලා කුසලයට වැටෙනවා කියන්නේ උතුරට ඒ කුසලේ තුලින් තමයි අපි අර සුප්‍රමණ්ඩේන් ලෝකෝත්තර ධර්ම ටිකට යන්නේ යට තියෙනවා හා හරි නව් කමින් බැක් යනයි හිරි ඇන්ඩ් ඕතප්ප 
Shame has the characteristic of disgust at bodily and verbal misconduct. Fear of wrongdoing has the characteristic of dread and regard to such misconduct. They both had the function of not doing evil and are manifested as the shrinking away from the evil. Their proximate cause is respect for self and respect for others. Respectively, respectively, respect for self and respect for others, respectively. Hmm? These two states are called by the Buddha, the guardians of the world, because they protect the world from falling into widespread immorality. Hiri and Othap. Right? Hiri and Othap. Aloba. Non greed has a characteristic of the mind's lack of desire for its object or non adherence to the object, like a drop of water on a lotus leaf. <coughs> its function is not to lay hold and its manifestation is detachment. It should be understood that non-greed is not the mere absence of greed, but the presence of positive virtues such as generosity and renunciation as well. Right? Renunciation as well. This example is beautiful, isn't it? A drop of water on a lotus leaf. How beautiful is that? Aloba. I think, you know, that sense of Paramatta Aloba there. Where a Dhamma is with another Dhamma, but completely independent of each other. Aloba. Right? Because remember, this Aloba. Make a nikam. Uh, we had to highlight that as well. Then api me sammuti in kataka na lobe ne me ya. Ara shadha vitaka tek vage me yedupu aka yodupu aka retum me alobe again hitan. Otoko me alobe avama then hitumu kauri avila pink hamaka avastavaka di tamante dena pirikarak. Hari. Then me after the pin come a cover stave the pirica piricarac humbunama. Come on to hit in the mang muna ham durant the gill then at me piricre met in a cadag and a piricre and then hit in nanny. Then the gither gill gither arang in a hit in nanny piricre. It in a in the kinet a puja cran. It piricre then humbuna at it. Then balana e alobe yomuene arbunakere. Otokota, Armunakerhi, Yamuna with Rakneme, Anichaja Sikh Dharmatika, Armunakerhi, Yamuene Alo Baking, Otokota, Ar Anichai Sikhara, Vatura Bindu Vage on the lotus leaf. It's now with the object in a manner that it is not getting attached to the object. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very interesting thing to think about. Otokuta vitarke yomu enama, vichare yomu enama, is yalamu yomu in a shabda yomu enama. Italima. One day. Oh. Me mata antima sentence, it should be understood that non greed is not the mere absence of greed. And a quarter support that if you can explain yeah. that more it should be it should be understood that non-greed is not the mere absence of greed. Not okay. just the lack of greed, lobe natibave vitrak neme, but the presence of positive virtues. Yes, that's the point of the katagatiak neheki nekai. The presence <laughs> of positive virtues, such as generosity and renunciation. But generosity and renunciation are very big words. Yes. Right? So... Generosity 
is and renunciation has to be understood at a fine paramatta level and when that when that sense of paramatta level is working what happens as a manifestation ape jeevita othoda thamai minusunda daanapati varu kiyala kiyanne noeli jeevat wenawa kiyala kiyanne minusunge e gati tika penne ara paramartha level ekak wena process ekak manifestation ekak process of positive virtues positive virtues the presence of positive virtues meka mage kara ganna katha gatiyak neha etena tiyenne ara athata pirikare labuna e manusyata hitunne man meka gedara aran yanna one kiyala me manusyata hitune man mona handuranta meka pooja karanne neda දැන් දැන් කඩ එකට ගිහිල්ලා රෙදි ටිකක් තෝරන්නට දැන් ඔක්කොම ගෙදර අරන් යන්න හිතනවා හරි ඒ දැන් ඔතකොට එතන බැලුවේ මොන මොකෙන්ද ඔතකොට අපි දන්නවා නේද ඒව කියන්න හොඳ නැහැ ඒව කියන්න එපා ඔතකොට අපි අර මේ ගොඩේ කර ගොඩට යනවනේ ඒව අපි ප්‍රහාණය කරන්න අර කතාවක් තියෙනවා ජාත කතාවල බුදුපියාණන් වහන්සේ බෝසත් අවදියේදී මේ මේ රිලව් වුත් නෙමෙයි දේ වලයි ඒක්ස් ඇයි තින්ක් බිග් මේඩ් රයිට් ඒගොල්ලෝ ගිහිල්ලා ඒගොල්ලෝගේ අර ට්‍රඩිෂනලි ඒගොල්ලෝගේ ක්‍රියාවක් තමයි කාලෙන් කාලෙට ගිහිල්ලා මේ ගල් තලාවක ජීවත් වුනේ කාලෙන් කාලෙට ගිහිල්ලා බලනලු මේ අපි මේ මිනිස්සුන්ගේ මේ මිනිස්සුන්ගේ මොනවද ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා ला <laughs> 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 hari then buddha pian mahan seva yavanawa then leader ne right the buddha is been sent the bodhisattva ee ida basa then me gollo kanda ma gilla full stealth operation ekak right gilla gammana ekata gilla ebila balanawa gaswai ne me ebila balanawa monowada then ape me me manushyo karanna kiyala manasu usas manussane e thing monowada me gollo karanna kiyala ඊට පස්සේ පේන ඊට පස්සේ පේනවලු දැන් දැන් මේ දැන් මේ ගොඩාක් කට්ටිය මේ ඇඳුම් පැළඳුම් වලට තමයි ගොඩාක් කට්ටිය දැන් ඌමනාව දැන් මේ ඒ ජාතක කතාවි කියන මේ මූණට එක එක පාට වර්ණ තාලේප කරනවා මේක අදාර දැන් ඉස්සර වගේ නෙමෙයි දැන් මේ පාට තාලේප කරන මූණේ හොඳ හොඳ ප්‍රාථමික වෙලා කියන එක දැන් මේ කට්ටිය they are very saddened by it අයෝ කියලා දැන් මේ ගිල්ල දැන් අප අප රංචුවට ගියාම to their sort of where they were දැන් මේ කට්ටිය වද දෙනවා වද දෙනවා දැන් මේ කියන්න කියන්න කියලා දැන් මේක වල අධිමදි කරනවා කියන්නේ හරි ඊට පස්සේ ඉතින් අහල අහල දැන් කියනවා දැන් මේ මිනිස්සු ඉස්සර වගේ නෙමෙයි දැන් මේ මේ ඉස් යු නෝ දේ සේ ද හෝල් තමාෂා ඇන්ඩ් දැන් දේ වර් සෝ දේ වර් සෝ ඔෆෙන්ඩඩ් මෙන් කියු වගේ නින්දිත දෙයක් අපිට අසන්න ලැබුණ තැනටත් හොඳක් වේවා මෙතන හිටියොත් අපිට නම් හොඳක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ එතනට කෙල ගාලා යනවා වෙන හොයා ගන්න මේ මිනිස්සු මේ මේ පිරිහිච්ච කතා කතා කරන්නත් හොඳ නැහැ කියලා ඒ තැනක් දාලා යනවා කියලා right ඒ තියෙන කතාව තමයි මට චයිස් එක චාට්ටේ මතක් වුණා right so alob so alob right so is that understood everyone the sense of generosity and renunciation affecting each and every mental factor ඊට් එන්නේ බෙ දැන් සතිය යෙදෙන්නේ තලෝබෙන් හැම දෙයකින්ම අර දැන් අපිට කුසල් කරන්න පුළුවන් නේ අර යම් කිසි විදියකට කුසල් කරන්න පුළුවන් නේ අපිට ලොකු සතියක් නැතුව හරි ඔතකොට ඒ සතිය අඩු කරාම අර අලෝභය 
level එක අඩු වෙන්න පුළුවන් වැඩි වෙන අඩු වැඩි වෙන්න පුළුවන් හරි ඒ තර power එක ශක්තිය අඩු වැඩි වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒත් අලෝභම අලෝභය තියෙනවා කියලා කියන්නේ ලෝභය එන්න බැහැ බාන්තේදන උපාදානය අයිති වෙනව නේද එතෙන්ට උපාදාන හල්ලා ගන්න උපාදානය මොන විදියටද මේ අලෝභය ගැනද කතා කරන්නේ අලෝභය කියන්නේ දැන් යමක් යම් කිසි දේවල් ගැන ලෝභය තියෙනවා ඒක උපාදානය තියෙනවා කියන්නේ ඒකට තියෙන ආසාවනේ තන්හාවනේ ඔව් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම එතන තියෙන දැන් උපාදානය තියෙන්නේ උතුකොට දැන් අපිට අකුසලේ හරි උපාදානය තියෙන්නේ අකුසලේ උතුකොට දැන් පංච උපාදානස් කන්දේ කියලා කියන්නේ උතුකොට අර රූප अलगने धर्मस्थावेदीन मै ඉතින් අපිට උපාදානයේ කියන කියන වචන පාච ක්‍රම ටික සරයි. හරි හරි. මොකද ඔතකොට ඒක පාටම යන අර උපාදාන තණ්හා මූලික ඒ ටිකට. ඒත් මෙන්න මේ පරිජ සම්පාදය ඒක නේ අර පරිජ සම්පාදයෙන් බැලුවම උපාදානයේ තියෙනවා එතන. අතිශාර හදනවනේ. හරි. අතර හදන. හරි. දැන් අදෝසය. non hatred as a characteristic of lack of ferocity sarabave or of non opposing nugatima hari its function is to remove annoyance or remove fever hari then and its man- manifestation is agreeableness non hatred comprises such positive virtues as loving kindness gentleness amity friendliness then mevini then metta mudita karuna upeka kiyana gati tika visheshema metta mudita karuna kiyana gati mena me api maitri gana katha karoth maitri paramarthaye washin na maitri sammutiyakin Hari, it is summer day. Take it like that. How do you feel now? It's better. Better. Oh, better. better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, summer day. Oh, to get a summer day. The order. Dwesh, what are you doing? मुखदेश उतकोट सामिट्य तीन पुद्गल आगे 
අර තද දෘෂ්ටි ගති අඩුයි නේද අර මෛත්‍රී සාගත පුද්ගලයාට හොඳට නින්දා යනවා අර මෙතාන සංසූත්‍රය කියන්නේ අපාය වැටෙන්නේ නැහැ කියන එකක් කියනවා ඇයි අර මෛත්‍රිය කියන මේ ගතිය ජීවිතේ තියෙනට ඒ මෛත්‍රියේ උඩ අර ධර්ම දෙක ගැටෙන ස්වභාවය අඩුයි ගැටෙන ස්වභාවය අඩුයි ඒ ධර්මයේ උඩ අර मेथा सागत मैत्री सागत पुद्गुलेवेन मेथन तीन अरमुन गैटिनी भावना मैत्री गाती विदर्शन आप चिल्ड्रेन मैनिफेस्टेशन <laughs> Does that make sense? प्रश्न है तीनों इतना खाता रे। हम्म हाँ। ओ हे माले। ऐसा है ना तो इतना lightness की अलग किया ना बोलो ऐने दे मिर्जेट का ना कोटा mild या क्या ना कोटा तारा heaviness से काटू वाला lightness से का क्या ना ऐने रहना है। अनिवार्य में। हाँ। अनिवार्यों <coughs> इन्हें ये थादगाती है तीन ना बहें और तो उधर एक साइन ना करा गाना वा थावे आरे फिल्ट करा गाना थावे इतना अत्तर इन्हें ये वर्तमान मोतर मानसिक मुकरा <coughs> when the non hatred appears when non hatred appears sorry as a sublime quality of loving kindness metta it has a characteristic of promoting the welfare of well living being its function is to prefer their welfare its manifestation is a removal of ill will right me wo okkoma danna when you are thinking of a person when you are thinking of a samuthi person samuthi person to then a position ne ka dub karanna paramarthaye right its function is to prefer the welfare of the object do you understand right its manifestation is the removal of ill will from the object is that clear mewa armunu tekkai ye denne armunu tekka hata ganna is seeing beings as lovable i don't know about that <laughs> i don't know about that word 
<laughs> oh, I am thoroughly confused. I the one of the two. <laughs> its proximate cause is seeing beings as lovable. Such loving kindness must be distinguished from self-affection. It's near enemy. Right? Mithana, again, when we look at the Chetas and the Chetasikas, we realize that it arises with all the Kusala. Right? It arises with all the Kusala. It arises with everything that is wholesome and good and should be cultivated. Right? Those Dhammas, when things are smooth, is rests and yavenama. Ekyanne Armuna Tienama Armuna Ganna Vidya Tienamani. Otukuta metana Armuna Ganna Satve kut innama. I know, I'm just saying so. Right? Satve kut innama. Hare. Otukuta me satve at a yamkisi with a pasudhai gatiati non. Yavina gatiati non. Akusli e gati ne. Akusli rage gato pitchena. Dvesha gattut thallu karna, ad karna, vinasa karna. Mohe gattut arumuna tekka hundata pethan idda denne mokada arumuna pehenne. Restlessness and doubt. Isn't it? Vichy kichyav saha uddach. Me hundha kusal dharma tika gatta ma. The nature is completely different. In e dharma adhose tibba ma. A objects they go hundert a yavin or sami papa. That is, I guess, what they are referring to as lovable. There. There's a sense of comfort being laid with that object. Does that make sense? Right? Like a like a feather brushing through. Right? There's a sense of comfort. Why? Because of their natures, everyone. Because of their natures, they are comfortable. Then, akusle khatagatta ma le pichena, right? All of those emotions, all of that burning sensation, all of that. Then, balan ek pasudha yad gati yad. Can that ever be something that is comfortable? It cannot, right? In lust, there are moments that lust can be comfortable, but why? Delusion. The lust deludes. When the moha and the lust arises, the lust can seem comfortable. But that's the deluded element of it. That's how lust works. Makes everything ugly, seems very nice. In that manner, we feel now a sense of lightness, a lens, sense of comfort with adosa towards the object. Okay. Any questions, anyone? Now, Tatra Majatata, neutrality of mind. The Pali term for this Chetasika literally means there is the middleness. There is the middleness. It is a synonym for equanimity, not as neutral feeling, but as a mental attitude of balance and detachment and impartiality. Tatra Majatata is not equanimity. Please remember that because it is very, with the English translation of Tatra Majatata, neutrality of mind, sometimes we understand this as equanimity, an equanimous feeling. But no, neutrality of mind is but a mental attitude of balance, detachment, and impartiality. It is like, let us say, a train conductor at a station. Whether the people go to war, or whether they are just going home, or whether, wherever they are going, his duty is just to load the clients onto the train. That's it. Bante, umpire can it mahari dang or cricket to a geheka? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Um even yes. 
an umpire, a train conductor, whatever it is, right? That sense of methaning karani, the methana chai sigidharma gudati in one, me dharma take a hatagan chai sigidharma gudati in one. Then me katia methaning pine or ethaning pine aim a bani, methana kramati in one, right? Odutami, okumula, one doesn't need to be above another. Methana avashavidi with my bedaven. ඒ වැඩි කරන්නේ තත්‍ර මධ්‍යස්ථතාවය. Do you understand? ඒ කියන්නේ detach. ඒ කියන්නේ පොඩ්ඩක් ඉන්න. ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් අපි තත්‍ර if we are taking let us say මේ ධාතු කරඬුව උස්සගෙන හොයිස් කරාගෙන නැහැ. කොහොමද කියන්නේ? Datu Karandu Vadam Manaka Vadam Man. Datu Karandu Vadam Magana Yanona. Hare. Datu Karandu them Vadam Manu the Mithana in the good of ladies la. Ladies la the name. Ah, Akane Aka Harimasadar night. Chandra in the me the Haneta appeal appeal invite Karana. I will give Datu Karandu to a lady's head. Hari, Datu Karandua, then Madame Mogan Anota. Hari, then Minimitan, you can't get too excited. No, you have to walk at a certain pace, you have to walk in a certain manner, you have to be very careful not to tilt it over too much. All of those details, isn't it? Ethana, then, but you're very excited, or everyone's eyes on you, you have to balance it though, isn't it? That balancing of all factors, they can ni me chai sika dharma koma ara motata avasha energy ekata motion nekata balance karane tatra majata tave. We never forget that. <laughs> we never forget that. Tatra majata tave. Udure e tatra majata tave in karane. Are Chai Siga Dharme own a vidya balance curve? Then Kimu Atem Avastaval, well, Satya Vedipur own a Bavanaka Navastaval, Satya Vedikur Nava, other than Otogur then Ape Indrian take a balance curve nutter, Tatramajatata with my acre, Antimata Karan Vedi. Hurry, Mogadan then eat a vada parasa satiai, prakna, by biri, eat a vada balances tikka katenama, indriing up a practice color. Acre it enacts that tatra majata is a dhamma that enacts that. <clears throat> Balancing the mind onto the object. Yes, is that understood? It has a characteristic of conveying consciousness and the mental factors evenly. Its function is to prevent deficiency and excess. Deficiency and excess. Or to prevent partiality. It is manifested as neutrality. It should be seen as a state of looking on with equanimity in the chitta and chitta sikha, right? Looking on with equanimity, prevent partiality. It is manifested as neutrality. It should be seen as a state of looking on with equanimity in the chitta and chitta sikha towards what? The object. Do not forget that. Hari, do not forget. If you forget the object, you've got it wrong. Okay. The object may arumuna kerihi tamai may dharma hatagan. The object it should be seen as a state of looking on with equanimity in the <clears throat> chitta and chetasika. Like a charioteer who looks on with equanimity in the th at the thoroughbreds progressing evenly along the roadway. Hmm? That's a very good example there, I think. Right. However, However much turns or jumps or hurdles there might be, the charioteer keeps calm and balanced, doing what he needs to do to endeavor on. Patra Majatma, Egatir. 
neutrality of mind becomes the sublime quality of equanimity towards living beings. They can sankarupekka. No, sorry. Me equanimity. Equanimity. Equanimity towards living beings. As as such, it treats beings free from dis discrimination. This is not a Vedana. Remember, that was the first thing that was said. It is not a Vedana. It is the quality of it itself. Not a sensation. A quality. A quality of impartiality. Right? A teacher treats all her children in the class the same. Does that make sense? A ruler treats all his subjects the same. Does that make sense? That quality, ekata, without preferences and prejudices, looking upon all as equal, this equanimity should not be confused with its near enemy, the worldly minded indifference due to ignorance. Indifference due to ignorance. Right? What is that? Indifference due to ignorance. What is that? The near enemy too, Bhante. The near enemy. Yeah. The near enemy of this Tatramajatatha mm -hmm. is the worldly minded indifference due to ignorance. Methana, then when it comes to when it comes to occasions where let us say because there is nothing to do we do nothing right because there is nothing to do in a situation you do nothing or when it comes to in between two dhammas, right? You are indifferent to these two dhammas not because of prakna, let us say incapability, lack of virya, lack of effort, lack of, let us say, sati, awareness. You keep away. Othukuta ekapi hitana indifferent. Othana psychology valakina me. Um, uh, what's the term uh, degradation um, when for example let us say one cannot acquire this right so what do you say I mean you say oh I don't need that what is that you know that doesn't even look nice no 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 but there is a sense of you know there was a sense of liking but because of incapability what you're doing is you're pushing it away Right, that the worldly mind indifference due to ignorance. Then indifference are khadenama. Just because you are unable to have it, let us say. Not just exclusively that, but that sort of indifference that arises because of aloba, sorry, loba dosa moha roots. Terunganda barihinda patradala visikarla karna katyatat banala. Right? That is the worldly mind and indifference. No, I don't care about this. Right? Which is not effectively the pushing away, but that mental attitude that mm -hmm. shuts one from something, not because of indifference, which is opeka kaltika kinda ni me agunayat kinda. Right. Now, <clears throat> the next 12 beautiful, the universal beautiful chasikas fall into six parts, each containing one term that extends 
to the mental body and the mental body and then the other extends to the consciousness. In this context, the mental body is a collection of associated chetasikas called body in the sense of an aggregation, right? That is kaya pasaddi, chitta pasaddi, kaya lauta, chitta lauta, etika. Hare. Then etika api, ilanga satyata karamada, etika. Right? Etika api ilanga satyata karamada. Right? Undata kievagani enna. And then we will do those next week, everyone. Okay. Do we have any other questions before we wrap up? Are you? Bante, oh. can I say something? Remember, Bante, last time when you we were explaining all these things, you were using these uh, uh, like when we were do, doing the universals, you were uh, using a separate, you know, document. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. So that is why I was using that same thing for the beautiful chittas. Okay. So it explains very nicely, especially when we go to the uh, the two, uh, like the pasadis about mm -hmm. the tranquility of mind. Yeah. So. It gives a very nice advantage, if you can see, okay. in this document. So I think that will be very useful for everybody, if you use that along with the one, Which one, Devika? Which one is that? Uh, this is Bante. Uh, this document. Um, it's, it's a document that I downloaded. It's about the wholesome mental factors, the beautiful universal 19. Gives like Marco, earlier you was show me the paper. Okay, let me show you the paper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hari Malaysi bante balagan. Earlier, so you were doing this uh, occasionals and the, this. One. Ah, yes, yes, yes. This is this is just the from the book yes. itself, isn't it? Uh, not yeah, it's from the book itself, but uh, you downloaded this uh, differently from. Okay, okay. I will send that to you. All right. Thank you. Is, I was uh, following that. This It's the same thing you used earlier when we doing the universe. Uh, yes. The same thing. So I think this will be very useful for everybody. Yeah, which is the outline the of the Chaita Sikhas. Which is yes, the yes. outline of the Chaita Sikhas. So how are we going on with the Chaita Sikhas? How is your understanding of it? What do you feel? So I mean, I said, "Matter now, he didn't even make changes. He got developed for another one. Can you Arya Stang Kumar get one? What can you do? Is it common? Is it common? I mean, yes, of course. Because the people, both Jhanga Dharma Tika Gatta, that is, people who are doing this, both Jhanga Dharma Tika Gatta, I mean, me Dharma Tika, I am not. Is it not? And then me, oh. I think this part, it brings a lot more clarity and depth to the present moment experience of that Arya Shtangikamar. And, and also when you look at when you look at the mind, you realize that all of these other davase vitrakata krupudeval valing unat api balwot api manasa goda kapita ara anuloma mani anulomeng ma apita dana ganna pula me hari gassanna pula yan dewa e kenne enotama api danno mena me gati e kenne dan kavadawat api akusala kavadawat api veridilawa tapita hitinna meka kusala kela mokada dannawa akusale thiyene e rasni wetna gatiya e vedanawa e kavadawat apita etena lacing etena veridinne naha then Buduham Dramaki and Boho Kartita Shadhava Rag Charitai Bovila Hari Dif Amaruki no Alagan. Mukada then me balanakinet. Mukada then nama pirisdui, then nama very methodical and all of that, well put together and all of that. Right? It's very but for the meditator, the make Bhavana Yogi at Alagan Peruno Tama Prashni, then Minakina hitanaka prashnak, ne Bhavana Yogi at Alagan Veru Chicka. 
ඔතුන අපි මේ ලෝකේ මේ අපේ ප්‍රකෘති ජීවිතේ අපි කොච්චර දකින්නද මේ වගේ අවස්ථා complete lack of self awareness right in ourselves also most of the time as well right and in the outside world we see that lack of self awareness this dispels all of that and brings a sheer shade of clarity now when you go into your practice and may scope picking the make manasadiya baladdi right ara bohoma kalaturukin thamai manuse kara ravaten ara siyallama nati une avasthawal wala ravaten ne nahe lesiyen mena metana kisima deyak shoon ekata padawa ara khaya prasade hari chitta prasade ekak hari matak wenna metana mokada den e wetlana thiyena manasa මෙන්න මේ ධර්ම මනස දිය බලද්දි වෙනම විදිකට නෙමෙයිද මනස දැන් තියෙන්නේ when you look at the present moment so this will clear all of that ආ සාරි මම තව එකක් දැන් සතිය තියෙන හැමතිස්සෙම එක beautiful chaitra එකක් දැන් beautiful සිතක් නැද්ද සාරි හැම වෙලේම beautiful සිත හැම වෙලේම අතිය තියෙන හ්ම් thank you හරි गार्डियनशिप <laughs> දැන් ඒ සතියම යනවයි අරමුණ ආරක්ෂා කරන්න මොකෙන්ද ආරක්ෂා කරන්නේ අපේ ද්වේෂ සාගත අදහස් වලින් බලන්න ඒක ලස්සන ඒක ලස්සන දැන් දැන් ඒක ඒක ඔබ්සර්ව් කරන්නට ඒක පේනවා අර සතිය දාපු ගමන්ම මිනිස්සෙට බැන බැන ඉන්නව හිතේ ඒක පාටම යු ඔව් මයි ගොස් වට ඇමයි ඩුයින් කියන එක මතක් කරලා right satiye e karna kriyawate gatta arumunata satyata satiye daapu gamamma e kileshi yana eka nihara light ash shine karana wage arumunak kere e clear set up hmm thawa thiyena can i ask a oh, question oh, oh. oh. please yo shilakya shila yeah can you hear me Yes, yes, I know. Satya, Saha, may focus karna ke neka dekha da? Satya, Isra, focus karna ke neka. Ek hiu hai? Dekha me ekka da? Dekha ekka da? Yes, yes. Atana Thibba ne etana, then I don't know exactly what you mean by the word focus. हरिथीरसाने ඒක નિમિત્તક નિમિત્તક වශයෙන් ගන්න ඊට වඩා දීර්ඝ අවස්ථාවක strong perception සතිය ලොකු පරාසයක් කියන එකද ලොකු පරාසයක් කියලා කියන්නේ ඒකේ length එක ඒකේ strength එක දැන් 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 ශීලා දැන් අපි දැන් මේක කීවගෙන කීවගෙන යද්දී දැන් මෙහෙම කීවගෙන කීවගෙන යනවා හරි ඔතකොට මම මේ ආ මේ බලා ගන්න කියලා මම මේක highlight කරනවා ඔතුරු ඕගොල්ලෝ ඇටෙන්ෂන් එක යනවනේ දැන් මේ වචන හතරට මොනවද මේ කියන්න හදන්නේ කියලා මොකද මේකේ තියෙන වැදගත්කම කියලා බලන්න ඕනේ මෙතන ඔතුරු හිතට සතිය එනවා ඒ දැන් මේ සතිය දැන් මේ හැම වචන the word සතිය derived from the root meaning ඒ හැම එකේම සතිය තියෙනවා ඒත් මෙතන සතිය කියන එක ඩිෆරෙන්ෂියට් කරන්නේ සංඥාවෙන් මේ සතිය කියන දෙය යෙදුවම හොඳට ඒ අරමුණට strong perception එකක් යොමු වෙනවා. හ්ම් හ්ම්. හරි. දැන් දැන් ශීලා ශීලා මට කියනවා බන්තේ ඔය පුළුවන් තරම් ඉප්පනින් දැන් ඕක කීවගෙන යන්න ඕක කියලා. හරි. ඊට පස්සේ දැන් මම දැන් මගේ අරමුණ මොකද්ද? Not to understand just to read. 
not to understand just to the word sati derives from the root meaning to remember as my objective is to just go on reading right then metana focus ek athi othoda dan mange sati yedenne koi ta to keep focus on just what i am going to read i am not going to consider anything else just read in the words right but yeah. when i want to understand this when i focus my attention more strongly on it දැන් අර තීර සංඥා කියන එක වැටෙනවා ඒකට තමයි සති කියන්නේ yes the proximate cause is strong perception මේ තීර සංඥාව යදෝම අරමුණක් කෙරෙහි ඔතකට එතන අන්ෆෝල් වෙන්නේ සති හරි ඔතකට සතිය when you are focused that focus is තීර සංඥා ඔතකට මේක is the proximate cause for the sati to arise hari therna okay othor when you ask shila focus ekai satiyai ekada neh focus ek hinda tamai satiya hata gan yes yes hari thank you yeah focus ek hinda tamai satiya hata gan it's the proximate cause ंग these uh, the formations of aggregates and you know so yeah. forth you referred to earlier okay so i just want to tell you that i downloaded from abidama.com hari thank you so much hey okay. guys thank you yeah thank you hari enang okkumlata teruwan sannai i will see you on sunday for oh, sunday mangitan teruwan sarnai teruwan sarnai teruwan sarnai